So let's take a look at Ehang. So recently, there was a report essentially showcasing false claims about Ehang, about their business, and pretty much everything that they were doing. And there's also an interview talking about that as well. And you can see that the price took a massive dip. But now today, it looks like it's quite a little slight recovery right here. I mean, let's see, you know, 80%, give or take, which is quite insane. But uh, I want to make this update because I made a video the other day just reviewing this interview and just showing the reports. And I said, and even the comments you can check, I was stating that Ehang has to respond to these false claims in order for myself and even people invested to get further reassurance that this stuff is just all fake and this is just somebody that's trying to you know mess with their business so they did update they did a respond so i'll go ahead and show you some of those things so here i am on their twitter so in case you want to get like an actual uh a link right to this article you can just click on here but let's just start off with the first thing because uh if you saw my previous video, this company, this research firm, essentially they showed this uh, walkthrough of their facility and essentially it was empty. Everything was no employees in sight, you know, lights off, etc. So they posted this on their official channel, which is just recently. So again, I'm filming this right now. So some things I'm going to say in this video, they might be actually answered if they were to update this in you know, the next few hours or something. But at least right now, this time, this is the video. And I'm just going to show you like, a, you know, a little short snippet of it. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. But basically, they pointed this dude, some guy that apparently doesn't work for them. And he's just like in here. It looks like he's taking photos. He's walking around. And it looks like they're pretty much, it's like they have somebody. I don't know if he's uh doing this solo. He knows people inside. There's really no context to this. And I can't read Mandarin or anything. So... Yeah, I really don't know. This is just basically surveillance video. It looks like other facility. And then uh, let's just go actually inside of this. You can see here he's walking in. There's the same exact location with the sign, the drone on the left. And that was in the previous uh, walkthrough video. It seems like the lights are on though. So that's different compared to uh, the one they showed from that research firm. So it looks a little different. You can see there's plenty of people working around here. There's plenty of employees. So you can see that, you know, there's actual people here working. It's not like, you know, some empty facility. And then, um, yeah, I'm not really sure what happened, what's going on here. This guy's holding something in his hand. looks like propellers. And, uh, yeah, like this, this really doesn't, uh, I don't understand what is going on, right? Again, it's sort of, it's basically, I guess they're saying somebody walked in, tried to take pictures and everything, but that doesn't uh, exactly answer the video where it's like empty and there's barely anything in the facility again that video could be something completely different but again that's this is just what they made so far and then they actually had the report which i went i'll go here and the ceo uh the actual um let me make sure yeah mr huaz i can't pronounce the name but uh founder of ehang has uh responded and he actually answered a few questions that the interview where you see um for the company that did the research making all these claims actually he answered a few of them in here now let's just go through this really quick so uh yeah these are like why you started people don't really that stuff you want to check this out but there's certain questions i want to see so right here so here's talking about like they did not jump straight to autonomous platform that's cool you can read that stuff too but there's the um, i'm trying to find the question exactly let's see okay so let's see question three abba no, that's not the one I want to mainly... This is kind of giving you some, like, strengths and everything. That's cool. I get it. But here, they said... Uh, they mentioned he's talking about, like, Uber Air, Uber Elevates, and, like, Joby. And they're spending, like, $500 million a year on research and development. And then he stated, apparently from the interview, that they only had, like, $10 million in research and development. So here they stated their um, R&D was since 2014. And they got, you know, backing and everything, investing. And they had approximately $37 million investments on R&D. And then more trust on the investors, etc. But basically, he's saying like we don't have a culture of burning money for you know the white elephant money pit project. So I guess that's stating like maybe in America people just throw money and uh, you know they gotta you know get the investors ROI, etc. But here apparently they're saying like every penny counts. You know they're not just trying to just waste their money, etc. So okay, that definitely is a response. So that makes sense. And then um, yeah, money's not everything. All that. So I mean. That this makes sense in terms of like 
some you know Uber's company or whatever, whichever one is the spending the five hundred million versus they're spending you know of less than as long as they're spending it on like strategic moves, then yeah, it makes sense. But if you know, let's say the five hundred million for the U.S. company is like just on facilities and like useless stuff, then obviously then that's that's why it would cost so much. But um, if they're just doing technology, sure, that makes sense here. All right, then this this one. They said uh, manager production quality. They talked about this. This is in the video, my previous one, that I wanted to to see, like, what do they even comment about this? So essentially, this, like, this ex-NASA person, I believe it was, like, he's, they said he's head of aviation at Uber Air or something. I have to double check his, like, title. But basically, this, like, ex-NASA dude for many years claims that they're using hobby-grade motors and basically a cheap uh, tool or cheap uh, quality product on their drones. And they said, like, pictures and everything. And then they essentially say that's completely false. They stated that this, let me see if I can just find the exact line. He said, obviously the, the person didn't check the age 216 in person, but um, they're saying that they established a variety of dynamic testing systems and they conducted a large number of tests on their motors. And they said regarding the actual motor, it's made by, uh, made by Team Motor that they're saying that they actually use. There's, I mean, uh, that they're accusing them of using. They said they believe that Team Motor only started to sell that product after they conducted a large number of trial flights of EH216. So I'm, I'm not really sure. They're, they're basically saying it. Uh, they had it before. I guess Team Motors were selling it. it. Based off this line, we believe Team Motors only started to sell that product after we conducted a large number of trial flights. So he's saying the Team Motor motors are significantly different from our motor products in both technical performance and physical appearance. So I mean. Again, people would like that if they would have the guy come in person and check it, that can definitely, you know, clarify some things on that question. But at least they responded to that particular uh, point. Here, this is, uh, let's see, trial flights. Because that guy said in the interview, it was mainly like trial flights. When they say about approval, it wasn't like actually going out there and getting a legit approval where people can just get in and start flying around, right? It said it was mainly for trial flights. And yeah, he said he's been in the flights. And I'm, I mean, you've seen videos on YouTube, but uh, again, I'm guessing those are all just trial flights right here. Here they're staying. They've taken over 10K trial flights, 41 cities, eight countries, all this, which is cool. You, I mean, if you've been following um, Ehang, you've probably seen all these little details. But uh, here they talk about regulatory approvals, how long it's going to take. It's interesting because they did answer some of the points, like the motor being like a cheap product, and then also how the, um, the research and development. So that definitely... It's good to see they responded to it. The main thing yet that I want to see and wait till they uh, respond to is essentially like the MT factory, right? Because uh, if you go to like the comments on this video, right? Let me get, I can just scroll here and you can just read all these people's stuff, but like just go through these comments and I can say like, um, let's see, like factory. Let's see. Yeah, so please reveal factory facility videos. Again, even people who I'm, I'm assuming these guys are ha either have it or maybe following it. And then again, um, the canvas is empty. All right, let's see here. Okay, this this guy's just you know making a comment, but um, let's see if I can find. Let's see financials. This guy's talking about financials. Let's see. This one, basically, they're saying like this doesn't. There's there's like 50 50. For some, they're saying it's good news. Others are saying like this didn't really do anything. Like yeah, why not show the whole building? You know all, all of this right so you can go in here and read this stuff is basically the same thing but uh in short these are just my thoughts and again this is just my own opinion everything in this video is just educational this is not financial advice so make sure you do your own research before doing any sort of investments but uh at least for ehang again the the biggest thing is one showing the facility your warehouse your manufacturing Pretty much showing that you actually you know have something up set up because so far this video it's like they just showed some dude walking around right like who knows who that guy is right I, mean, I can't read you know Chinese or Mandarin so I don't know I don't know if there's anything else I'm guessing like in the description here it's like you know the same exact thing just translated but uh regarding the points right so one was the uh, the warehouse the facility is empty. There's like nobody there. And even if it was like a holiday, whatever, it's still like there's nothing inside of it. It's just a few of the drones, give or take, and that's it. So they'd have to show like, you know, a facility. Like if they just had a video, which maybe they could post within, you know, minutes of me sharing this video where it's like thousands of, no, I wouldn't say thousands, but you know, at least something showing like, hey, these are being developed and produced, then it makes more sense. Like if you see like a car manufacturer and they say they're going to make cars and you go into their like massive facility 
and you see these mega robots building cars, you know, it's okay. You know, there's something there. But if this company just has these like trial bot or robot drones, that is just, that's it for show. And there's nothing being developed on the outside. Then that's, that's not uh, going to address the so-called um, research firm's points. They did, they did mention or reference the um, research and development comment, which is good to see. And they um, referenced, I believe, the, uh, let me just double check, the, the one, oh yeah, the one about the parts, the parts being like uh, poor quality. So that's at least something that good that they responded. So until they showcase a actual like tour, like an in-person tour, and then I wish the CEO, like even people in the comments are saying how the, um, they should get the founder to just like get into drone fly for like 30 minutes and come back and start give some sort of like uh like speech maybe again because um i think it just all depends on the type of person you are and your risk tolerance but if this gives you some sort of you know insight and saying oh this is good then hey they just they do you but if you're the type of person that needs to see more proof and kind of have more fact checks then yeah that's definitely something to consider and also remember the um the sales numbers and revenues too. That someone have to confirm everything like that in terms of the progression of the company. But overall, I just want to make this quick update. Maybe they'll make some more posts in the future when I post this. And I, maybe I'll just make an update video by then. But for now, I just want to share with you these videos and the article that they posted. So if you want to check those out, then just go to Twitter or just check out their YouTube to see it um, yourself. And aside from that, if you made it this far in the video and you want to get two free stocks, valued up to $1,850. And all you need to do is go to the description below, click on that link. And when you sign up and deposit $100 or more, you will potentially be able to receive two free stocks valued up to $1,850. And if you do use my link, I'll also receive two free stocks as well. And that benefits both of us. And aside from that, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below your thoughts on eHang. And if you think this update is good for them or you think you need to see more proof. And aside from that, I'll see you in the next one.